Hi Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 3 Tarot and we're just going to jump in Leo and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? This is for, of course, a general reading for Leo, the sign of Leo, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same day personal readings for $20. You get it the same day of your purchase. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you, Leo. Now I'm going to start with shuffling all the cards out first and I'll tell you what I see here, Leo, okay? Okay, Leo, let's see here. Hmm. A bit more here, just a second. Cards flipping. Hmm. Yeah, Leo. Okay. Well, you know, it looks like here with whoever this is, I don't see much i mean for some of you this could be someone you are in a marriage or relationship with this is someone that you have a contract with business with and for some of you this is your ex um i will say if this is your ex but you still communicate with them they're they're definitely only using you for lust and sex and for money gains and they really don't care and they're gonna keep being that way with you and towards you the rest of you in general whatever this is uh, whoever this could be so they start out a few things here, either irritated, annoyed, or frustrated, or they have no passion. They're not making plans with you. They want nothing to do with you, or they just want to use deception and use you for, you know, their own greedy stuff or lust or sex, whatever. It looks like though, despite that, whatever that is, they still choose to consider realistic options with you in some way, shape, or form, and to create peace with you and make things more harmonious with you and well-balanced. They even end up, you know, messaging you or talking to you. You guys have a conversation. Uh, researching, studying information to figure out what to say or what to do. And for a lot of you, you guys, congratulations, you signed a contract, okay? Or, you know, you, just, you guys are married, right? And or they, you know, they could be going, they trust their intuition about everything going on. They know everything that's happening here between the two of you. And, you know, they could be going to spiritual, religious, esoteric guidance and information or therapeutic to get more information on what to do. 
based on whatever those things may be here, it has caused this person to get to the point where they really, they unfortunately, they realize they have no love for you. They're not happy with you. They're not having fun with you. But maybe for some of you, there's kids involved and that's why they stay. Or for others of you, it's like, they still choose to be friendly with you. They still want to message you, talk to you, hang out with you. They still feel motivated and inspired to say something here with you. And they look forward to you. But then to really plan with you and, and really try things and do things, it's not much of their cup of tea. Then they, I don't know why or what happened there. That's where there's heartbreak and pain. That's where there's a lot that they're not willing to, you know, let go of, move on from or get over. It looks like though it puts them in their strength. It makes them, you know, feel strong and solid with you and that they can kind of still face this challenge here with you and they even reflect on what they can do now for some of you i was going to say they do live with you and others of you they don't so only you'll know but they end up you know hanging out reflecting on a lot of things and making some changes you know based on whatever's going on with the two of you and that's what makes the home unstable the friendship the relationship whatever this dynamic is because i'm not sure they're not specific that's where things are just not it was never built off of something true is what i'm saying okay or stable now they know this but they still want to move forward with you in a positive way and for some of you it's to sleep with you others of you it's to just you know do something new and fun with you but then right after that that's where they're guarded and they're defensive and they put their walls up uh, towards you and put some boundaries up and then it makes them realize that manifesting with you co-creating with you thinking of their own ideas of what to do hobbies creations whatever it is that it's just not what they want to do okay it's just not what they want to do here with you and i don't know if they attack you they get aggressive with you they get frustrated or irritated with you or they keep all this with themselves um and they go cold and they just get more really irritated and confused and upset with you about something and with themselves it looks like it's a just they they've based on that they've made a decision and their decision is they're not going to close this cycle out with you quite yet they know they need to they know that it's been over for a while but they're not going to for the sake of money business finances or using you for less sex and money for others of you they're not going to close it out but they're also not going to work with you and it could be because they're irritated with you annoyed with you frustrated with you or being aggressive or they're just playing you or using you regardless it looks like here they end up just kind of like showing something more so about their own business and finances and money um they're still willing to kind of do business but they also leave this reading really defensive, guarded, and standing their ground towards you and against you. Okay? So you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right? And that is what I have for you today, Leo. Thank you. I hope this helped. Bye.